As the Cedar Park community deals with the aftermath of this fire, business owners are finding ways to help those who have been affected. KVU's Isabella Basco has that story. Oh my gosh, dude. 30 to 45 minutes into cheer practice at Tumble Tech in Cedar Park, all Addison Hannah could smell was smoke, leaving her scared and frantic. Eventually, everyone just started to like evacuate and leave, and um, it just got bigger and bigger and bigger. Blocked off streets also creating panic for parents unable to get through and pick their kids up. It's 105 you know, degrees outside plus the heat and the smoke from the fire and they walked you know, all the way down kind of through the EMS through the first lines to try to get here to pick up their kids. To thank fire and EMS, Tumble Tech's Ryan Sundquist wanted to show a token of their appreciation for all their efforts. We're going to put together some care packages for uh, for local fire and EMS and police who were here on scene. You know, they they put themselves out there. They put their lives on the line every day to help keep us safe. AJ Camp, the owner of the Peddler Bicycle Shop, is also seeing that mentality of togetherness in Cedar Park. A portion of the suburban Ninja Trail was burned from the fire, which Camp helped cut and develop. We're thinking we'll be able to reroute and kind of rebuild, but it's it's going to be different. You know, it's there's no more trees. While many are upset, he's already noticed many have reached out to offer with a trail cleanup day racking up volunteer hours to bring it back into usable condition. So it'll just be a group effort and there's a lot of a lot of people in this community that are that are love to help and they they enjoy being a part of the trail and, and knowing that they put in some effort to it and then they get to enjoy it later. Feeling relief that injuries were minor, gratitude to our first responders and hopeful they'll rise from the ashes. And Tumble Tech's owner tells KV News their athletes will be taking those care packages to first responders later this week. Brian and Quita. All right, thank you, Isabella. And tonight, the mayor of Cedar Park is asking residents to conserve water for the next 48 hours as firefighters continue to battle the Palmer Lane fire. The city was under stage two water restrictions, which meant people could water their lawns twice a week. Now, that's no longer allowed. Please take a look around your own home and Look for ways that you can help mitigate the risk of wildfire damage. The conserve water notice is expected to last through Friday. We'll bring you updates when we hear more from Cedar Park officials.